Hello everybody at CC. I would like to welcome you to Cruiser Customizing's Tip of the Week with Don Boyer. Uh, we are going to cover today the wave. First I'd like to apologize Dr. Phil. I got sleeves. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> A lot of people say that uh, the Harley guys don't wave. Um, that might be true in some states, some towns. Uh, I get a lot of waves, even from the Harley guys, um, sport bike guys, it's a little different. But everybody wonders, am I doing it correct? Do I look cool? I don't know what your hang up is, but let's, let's go over some things that I've noticed in Indiana. <clears throat> For one, the Harley guys. Maybe some of them, you don't see the wave. Or maybe they don't see you. This dirty Roadstar has a lot of chrome. Harley chrome seems to be a lot brighter. Maybe, maybe they're squinting and they can't see you. I don't know. But what I have noticed in my area, Harley guys, it's a quick snap. They're down low. I mean down low two fingers usually. You got to be careful with the open hand. The open hand wave you end up look like an idiot because the wind blows it back. I mean come on when you were seven years old and you stuck your hand out the window you ended up smacking the back of the door. Same thing. You want to be careful if you're doing the two finger because if you turn it just wrong all of a sudden it looks like you're flipping them off. You want to make sure you got the two fingers out. That's probably basically the only thing you need to concentrate on. Honda guys, and not just Honda in general, but Gold Wingers. The Winger crew, I think, gets a video with every $30,000 bike they buy. The wave is kind of what I call the pageant wave. It's uh, like this. I don't know where that started, but it's really big in this area. If you got a gold wing, you have to do the pageant wave. Still dangerous with the wind. Apparently with that big screen up front, the, the, the gold wing has a different air pattern. I'm not sure. You can do the two finger wave. People look for it. Uh, a lot of sport bikers, you know, they're down. They do the two finger thing. Uh, I prefer two fingers down. Uh, if I'm dinking around, I'm getting ready to turn, I'm using the clutch, yeah, I'll do two fingers up. Let's do, let's do the sport bikes, actually. They're, they're a different world altogether. You gotta get the windshield off for the sport bikes. They, ain't, they don't have all that up there. Let's see. Uh, that's why I don't have a sport bike. They're all laid down. Their weight is on their hands. It's a little tough for them, so a lot of them just do the, the two fingers out. I understand. Now, the other, the other option that they have is they go down low. You know why? Because their belly's resting on the tank. It's that simple, folks. It's just common courtesy. It's being kind to other bikers. It's acknowledging they're out there. If you don't want to wave, don't wave. I don't care, but the least you could do is show some courtesy. Say hello. It's, uh, it's okay. Like I say, if you don't like it, don't do it. No one's going to care. That's a Memphis Shade. Quick uh, detached windshield in case you didn't notice. It is that quick. Um, I'm going to add a couple pictures actually uh, that I've been collecting of uh, different people waving. Um, all of them look basically the same. But uh, absolutely. If I see you, I'm going to wave.
your choice. And that is Don Boyer's Cruiser Customizing Tip of the Week.